Dear guests, we will now experience our new world premiere of our newest rotary die cutting generation. We are inviting you to a world of premiere, the market launch of our new generation of rotary die cutter. We know that highest productivity, shortest make ready times, and highest automation are the key to your success. Over the last years, and also based on feedback from you, our customers, we have developed the press from scratch. We have questioned a lot of things. We have improved things that were already very good. And we have added new functions to the rotary die cutter that is only available from Koenig and Bauer. The result is a whole new dimension for the post press segment, a machine which will make you even more successful. The result is the fastest die cutting machine in the market, our new Cut Pro X106. And because we didn't want it to droop until April 2021, now we are going to present you the new Cut Pro 106 live in production. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mario, on last trooper you showed the RDC. What did change on the way to the Cut Pro X, except the name? Sven, believe me, a lot. Not only the name, but you've done a lot of new developments over the last couple of years. Just want to point out a few. For instance, our new embossing tower, where you can do a high quality embossing with 15,000 sheets per hour. And this is three times faster then such quality, high quality embossings can be done on flatbed die cutters. Then there's our die cutting tower, which has been further developed in form and quality over the last years. And then last but not least, our blanking, our fully automatic blanking unit, which now will be presented in a few seconds. Yeah, uh, by Johannes. Johannes is here with us. Johannes, join us, please. Hello. Johannes, you recently assembled this machine here. Are you proud and a little bit excited? I am absolutely proud and also absolutely glad to show this world premiere, this exclusive product launch today to our customers and of course to you, Sven. And I'm very proud of our team that we could make it in time to show this machine now live here in Radeboil. So please, um Let's make a little walkthrough with us through the machine. Yeah. Show it to us. Let's do it. Stefan, our camera guy, will be with you and I will join you so that all the viewers can see all the details. I would like to give an impression of all the stations we have in this machine. So at first we have to start with our feeder. This is already well-known Rapina technology. We know it from the printing presses. This is high-tech material working up to 20,000 sheets per hour. We have our Drivetronic feeder, a uh, stepless pile height feeder. The movement of the head is automatically adjusted. We have four independent servo drive axes inside. And so this is really well-known repeater technology, high-tech. This works all time, but a specialty on every Cut Pro X which was in the former time an RDC. Now is we can have this machine with a non-stop logistic system. And we see this here on our feeder table, the feeder table with a multi-chamber camera system. And this is all automatically adjusted. We can save all the settings of this machine to the Logotronic and we can also bring it back and so the machine runs all the settings automatically. Stefan now is filming our SIS, recommended for every RDC, because the sensoric infeed system works well at every speed, up to 20,000 sheets per hour. But our Cut Pro X is unfortunately, for the moment, limited to 15,000 sheets per hour. Which is still a world record. <laughs> which is still a world record in this segment, of course. Yeah, so until this point, Nothing new, so to say, but... Uh, a lot of great stuff, but no new stuff. Exactly. But we come to our first unit, and we see it here. This is our embossing unit. And Mario was already talking about this. We have two magnetic cylinders, one on top, one on the bottom. And 
on our upper magnetic cylinder, we have those beautiful cliches. And many of our customers will know these cliches from the flatbed presses. So the system is the same, but the way it works is totally different. Because it's rotating and that makes it fast, right? Exactly. Yeah, we are rotating and we have a male-female system. So this is our male, also known from the flatbed presses, this is plastic and will be glued on the lower cylinder. And then we get a really nice embossing. And the big thing, you already said it, we are rotating. So we are embossing with 15,000 sheets per hour. And this is also a new world record, which we can bring with this machine to the customer side. Another short fact to this unit, we are working with Rapida technology, printing technology. That means we have a registration of under 15 microns. No machine can do this, and especially not at this speed. Respect, and please go on on our little walk along the machine. Yeah. Let's have a look at our second unit. Today we want to see all the units working together in line. So that means we have embossing, creasing, cutting and stripping on our fourth unit. For the creasing, we are working again with two magnetic cylinders and I prepared two plates here. You can see it a counter creasing plate and on the upper cylinder we have a creasing sword which pushes in our counter creasing channel. And then we get a really nice creasing line. But a specialty on this one is we can do a negative and a positive creasing in one step. And those plates, and Matthias can show us one of our plates we are using in the RDC, and with this we also come to our third unit, the heart of the Cut Pro X106. This is a cutting plate. And here you see the whole layout of our cutting lines, and we can see our register pin system. We call it click to cut. And yeah. With this, you are already in register. You just have to click in the plate. And it's not like in a normal system where even if you have a repeated job, you will have to adjust the registration a little bit. And here on the Cut Pro X, you don't have to do it. You just click in the plate and keep going. So ladies and gentlemen, forget about drag and drop. Here comes click and cut. Um, how do you produce these plates, Johannes? Yeah, these plates are produced on, a, so to say, way where we enlighten the plate on the top and then we have a, a area which stands back and there we have an acid bath which erates all the outer lines and then we only have a line and this line is then grinded and with a CNC manufacturing device and so very accurate absolutely accurate we are here at plus minus two microns okay. you know. The whole unit is temperature controlled. That means that when the operator comes in the morning, he is ready to start. He can come on Monday morning and the machine is already set for production. No warm up time, need, time needed. Great. And the last step, we are passing here our stripping unit and Matthias is helping to show it to the customer what we are doing here. Again, we are working with a male-female system and these are polyspot plates. We, we know it from a normal coating unit. We use the exact same plates. And there, the male is pushing the waste inside of our female form. And then, you see it here, we have some vacuum chambers and also some holes. There, we are sucking the waste to the hole. The cylinder is changing to blowing air and we can bring out the waste pieces on side two of the machine. While rotating while we are rotating with 15,000 sheets per hour. So, a last thing, they are manufactured here in-house. You can do it at home. The customer, if he has a cutting plotter, you just give a PDF to the cutting plotter with the areas you want to extract, you want to strip, and the cutting plotter is taking all out the areas. Very simple, very fast, and you have no adjustment. You just click in the plate again and keep going. Great. Sven, let's have a look what happens after and Stefan is following us and here we have a really nice view 
on our world premiere. And a lot of space. <laughs> a lot of space. This is the commando center, so to say. Christian, our operator for today, he is able to have control on the whole thing which happens here. And when we are talking about what happens here with only one man, yeah, Christian is alone in this case, <laughs> then we can... Christian, don't worry, we're here with you. You're not alone. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a short look what is happening here. I just want to explain it short. We have a, vac a, a conveyor here on our pile and this conveyor is filled with sheets and uh, when we have a stack like for example 40 to 60 millimeters then this conveyor is going down and the conveyor is rotating and we bring our stacks to the next station here is a turning table and on this turning table we set the stack to position onto our next belt and this belt now takes the first alignment of the side. Then comes our final positioning system and here we get a, f a production alignment for our blanking unit. And I would call it pole positioning system. <laughs> pole position. <laughs> then we are in pole position. <laughs> yeah, We come to our blanking unit and there we have done a lot of development on this unit because we make, made it much more stiffer, it has much more pressure how we can extract our whole waste frame on the sheet because in the end we want to have a final blank which can go further. But this unit also now is available with a special tool. So you see it on the top. There's a tool. It's not expensive or anything like this. It's only metal. And with this we are able to extract very thin waste frames up to 5 to 10 millimeters and this is very important because we want to get much much more or less waste yeah we don't want to be more efficient we don't want to be much faster we also want to have less waste because sustainability and saving money exactly <laughs> then last part but not least our stacking conveyor he will pick up our final blanks and then in the end we will have a final stack, but enough talking, Sven, I yeah, think. Yeah, enough of the words. Let's see some action, Johannes. Let's see some action. And now Christian is going to work. Going to push the button. Oh my god. <laughs> and now magic happens, as we can see. The machine now automatically goes into position, and Christian now can fire up the machine. And Stefan now is taking a very nice closer look to our delivery because here is happening something very new. We have a new Rolo. That means for the non-stop system we will now make a stack and then this Rolo is coming out with a very high speed. And with this we are able to run these, these fast speeds up to 15,000 sheets per hour. So here it comes, the first pile. Yeah. And when we talk about speed, we can also ask Stefan. We will we, we wait for the Rollo. There it okay. comes. And we also can have a look on the speed. Yes, yeah, Stefan, follow the pile. <laughs> It's magic. So actually, Stefan has the hardest job to do, to follow all these things. Yeah. And Christian is looking really relaxed, actually. But Stefan, can you also take a short look on our production speed? Yeah. Because what happens here is really magic with 15,000 sheets per hour. And when Stefan now comes comes back to our unit, we see what is happening here. We have the final blank and our stacking conveyor picks up the blanks and brings it on our blanking pile where we have nice stacked blanks. And between every two piles, we put a slip sheet. Because we need this slip sheet, you can see it there on the back. He grabs a new sheet 
We need the slip sheet to be sure that the blanks are not falling over after we have done our blanking process. Okay. But, Sven, I think we have seen how it works. I think it would be also good to have a look at our Let's final see the blank. Result, yeah. yeah, see the result. And Sven, I'm coming to you and we can have a nice yes, look with pile. Stefan at the pile. Great. So, so far from the Cut Pro X, but now we can go on working with that. Yes, we want to work with this because we have to put this now on a folder grower because we want to have a nice final product. And I would ask you, Sven, with Mario to take out the pile because at this station we could work, for example, with an iRobot. He could take the pieces, the blanks, and put it in the folder glue. In this case, we have an Emma robot. Yeah, Mario. It's, it's Mario, our robot. <laughs> Please help us. Um, and while we are going over to the next machine, you maybe could just show the audience uh, our results. Of course. Because we, we would need a minute to go there. We will have a closer look at all the steps we've done on the Cut Pro X because we had now four units working on these sheets, making a nice cutting, creasing. We did a stripping of the internal waste. And Mario, I just pick a piece and then you can go over to our folding gluing machine, to our All Pro 110, and I will show Stefan and the audience what have we done today. See you in we a minute, have Johannes. A beautiful cutting. You can see it here. A nice registered creasing, so no sharp edges in any case. And we also have done a hole for the stripping. We also could take out other parts for the stripping. And our world premiere, also the embossing with this height. First time we can show it like this. And of course, the registration. It's really perfect centered. And I was talking about the specialties about the Cut Pro. So we can do a positive and a negative creasing because we have here a crash lock button box. So we also have a creasing from the other side, but the customer can do counter scoring as well in our creasing unit. And when I have a look at this, I have to check it. Cutting is nice. Also, these edges are important because then we need this to close the box. And Mario, I think here at the Cut Pro X, we are ready to hand over to the Al Pro. These boxes are ready made by the Cut Pro X, our world premiere here in Radebeul. Thank you very much.